Do you know what fetuses do in their mother's womb? Many people think that fetuses only eat and sleep, but in fact, they do many interesting things every day inside the womb. First of all, they enjoy swallowing amniotic fluid. Fetuses swallow the amniotic fluid and expel it from their bodies. This helps in the development of their lungs and digestive system. Additionally, fetuses also suck their fingers, which is a way for them to adapt early on, ensuring they can feed correctly once they are born. By around the 10th week of development, fetuses start to move inside the mother's belly. Even though the mother may not feel the movements, they freely stretch, kick, and roll around in the uterus. These movements aid in the development of the fetus's muscles and bones. In the womb, the umbilical cord becomes the fetus's only toy. When the fetus's fingers mature, they playfully grasp the umbilical cord out of boredom. Some fetuses even wrap the umbilical cord around themselves. If playing with the umbilical cord causes discomfort, they will release it themselves. Do you know what an unborn fetus does in its mother's womb? Many people think that the fetus only sleeps and eats. In fact, the fetus will do many interesting things in the belly every day. First, breathing exercises. They swallow amniotic fluid and expel it from their bodies. This helps their lungs and digestive system to develop. At the same time, the fetus will also suck on their fingers and practice sucking. It's also a way of getting used to the fact that they're going to be able to feed properly when they're born. When the fetus reaches its 10th week of development, it will move inside the mother's stomach. Although the mother can't feel the movement, of the fetus, they stretch freely inside the womb, kicking and rolling. These movements help the fetus muscles and bones to develop. Third, play with the umbilical cord. Apart from the fetus and the placenta, the umbilical cord is the only thing left in the womb. Bored fetus can only play with its own umbilical cord. But don't worry, the baby's brain has already developed. If playing with the umbilical cord causes discomfort, the baby will let go of the umbilical cord on its own. Fourth, listening to external sounds. When the fetus reaches six months old, his ears are already well developed. He can hear sounds from the outside world. The mother's heartbeat, breathing and the surrounding sounds can be conveyed to the fetus. This kind of stimulation is very important to the development of their sense of hearing. Fifth, sleep. The fetus spends most of the first three months in the mother's body sleeping. They rest and grow during sleep because sleep is very important for their brain development. Six, the sense of taste. The fetus olfactory organs are formed at about 28 weeks. They're able to sense chemical changes in their mother's body. By swallowing the amniotic fluid, they can taste the food that their mother is consuming. This explains why the eating habits of a pregnant woman can affect the preferences of the fetus. Seventh, tactile perception. As the fetus skin becomes more sensitive, it can feel the mother's patting and touching outside the body. This kind of tactile stimulation is good for them to build up their emotions with their mothers. Eighth, swimming. In the eighth week of development, the fetus will swim around in the amniotic fluid. Although the mother can't feel these subtle movements, but the baby's fingers, toes and body parts are already moving. This movement continues until late in the pregnancy, when the fetus is too big to swim in the amniotic fluid.